Hello and welcome to DIY Games. My name is Matteo and I am an artist who makes games. I've even been game designer in residence at the BNA, one of the biggest design museums in the world, but I don't have a degree in game design. I started making games because I wanted to make my ideas playable. This is the first game that I made quite a few years ago. At the time, I was studying graphic design and I was quite into this story by a Greek philosopher called Plato named the cave allegory and in that story you have a bunch of people who are chained inside a cave and forced to watch a puppet show so for them the puppet shadows are all they can see they are their reality then one of them manages to turn around and sees the puppets so that's becoming the new reality and then another one gets to escape the cave and see the object on which the puppets were modeled. So that's a new reality. Or is it? So my question was, can you make this philosophical message playable? And I spent quite a few months hacking together a playable version of the cave allegory with a reality TV twist. So in the game, you are televised inside the cave where you have a bunch of people who are contestants in a, TV, a reality TV show and you have to try and manage them. It was actually quite a terrible game, <laughs> nobody could play it. But through that project I learned to code and I landed my first job after uni. And making video games is, is amazing, it's really rewarding, but it's not quick and it's not easy even if you know how to code and even if you know how to use the various game making tools that are available. And when I started teaching people how to make games, I realized that people don't want to spend weeks to learn how to make pixels jump. They want to use games as a medium to express their ideas, to tell their stories, to let other people explore different perspectives on a certain subject. And I observed students making their first board game in a very short time, as short as two hours. So that's why I encourage everyone, you included, to make board games. Because it's easy, it's quick, and it's more collaborative. Now, often people tell me, I can't make games because I've never made games before. Are you sure? I bet that as a child, you have playfully interpreted the world around you. You have taken everyday objects and turned them into something magical. You have played the role of an imaginary evil character or a hero. Are in those games? Okay, let's take something a little bit more conventionally gamey, like a board game. Now, I bet that as a child, you have at least once changed the rules of a board game to make it easier for you to win or maybe to make it easier for a younger player to play. Do you see? You have been a game designer before. So the first step of this course will be to reawaken your inner game designer by generating a lot of game ideas. Then you will take an old game, analyze it, understand how it works and what it says and then hack it with your own ideas, with your own rules. Turn it into your own game. Throughout the course, you will get step-by-step -step guidance. You will get printable worksheets that you can download that will help you for each step. But I'm not gonna teach you how to code. I'm not gonna teach you any game making app. I'm gonna teach you how to think like a game designer and how to make your ideas playable by other people. Because you can make games about anything. I've been making games about capitalism, about food systems, about the gig economy, about couple relationships, and recently about coping with pandemic lockdown. Because you see, you can take inspiration from anything. I like to take inspiration from current events, and create what I like to call minimum playable dilemmas. 
give players uneasy choices that make them think about what they do in real life. That's why I make games. So if you're inspired to make your own games, head to gamroad.com slash badeo where you can find the course DIY games and a bunch of examples of games that I've made using the same process. It's easy, it's quick and it's collaborative. Make board games. Good luck.